and welcome back to Zara's Adventures. If you've only just joined, please hit that subscribe button as that will really help support what we're doing and hit the notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Today we have Shirley with us. Hi y'all. As she enjoys art and where we are today, we have a lot of art. So we brought her along. Yay. Today we are visiting the what? gallery to share what to expect before visiting. We have bought the mobility scooter with us because we weren't too sure how big it would be and because we both have this invisible disabilities we both have a scooter. Yes. And it's first time wow. Shirley's driven a mobility scooter <laughs> so it will be fun. We'll be sharing lots of little videos as we go round. We'll also be sharing information as we go round as well that will be quoted from the website so we give you the right information. So enough talking and let's go and see what we can find. Hello and welcome to Watts Artist Village. My name is Celia. I am one of the stewards and duty managers here at the site. I'll tell you a little bit more about what you can see here. Primarily, we have the historic galleries, which celebrates the work of George Frederick Watts, an amazing Victorian painter who painted the great and the good. So we have a lot of uh, portraits here, but also a lot of political and symbolic work, which is absolutely fascinating to find out about. While you're here, you get to visit his house and studios and find out about his wife, Mary Watts, who was a artist in her own right and also an incredible ceramicist. It was down to her that we have the Watts Chapel in Compton, uh, which is just down the road, which you can visit while you're here. The chapel was made by many local um, people who came to work with Mary to create the very unique interior and exterior. Finally, we have our shop, tea room and contemporary gallery, which you can enjoy all free of charge um, if you want to come and just walk in the woodlands in the surrounding area. We hope to welcome you one day soon. And this piece of artwork, Shirley's gonna tell you a little bit about it. It happens to be the Daughters of Thea is an artwork to celebrate women's relationship to the moon. The work comprises of 84 ceramic goddesses, individually made with the help of invited artists and friends.
we are now standing at the chapel. Mary Watts was the artist, artistic force behind the creation of the Watts Chapel and she dedicated it to the loving memory of all who find rest near the walls and for the comfort and the help of those to whom the sorrow of separation remains. George and Mary Watts both rest in Watts Cemetery as do many other people who have played a role in the artist's village over the years. In 1895, Mary began to run evening classes doing terracotta at Lemonsley, the waters nearby, residence and studio. At these classes, Mary would teach local villagers how to model tiles from local terracotta clay. With the beautiful and symbolic patterns that she had designed to decorate the walls of the chapel, George Watts financed the buildings of the chapel through painting commissioned portraits. So we did use the scooters today, as you can see, and as we said this morning, um, and because this uh, is quite a spreaded area, isn't it? It's yeah. got three different sort of plots that you have to travel to, um, but they do all have car parks, but obviously if you want to walk or you've got a scooter, then you can go that way. It's pretty much accessible and uh, there are lifts in the majority of the places we've seen throughout the film and um, there are also pull out seats um, around the gallery so you can carry around with you if you need to take lots of um, stops to sit down and relax there are some um, benches as well throughout the gallery uh, to take a seat on there are three wheelchairs that you can hire um, they do advise you to call before your visit to book the wheelchair as there's only one wheelchair in each park. <laughs> when you go up to the chapel, there is a little step, so if you're in a wheelchair or a mobile scooter, you may struggle just setting up that a little bit. It can be on the side of the scooter as well. Uh, for a wheelchair, it shouldn't be too bad if someone's assisting you. Um, and it's quite steep on the way up to the uh, chapel, isn't it? Yeah, but if you make it up there, do go inside. It is very pretty, isn't it? It's wonderful there, yeah. yeah. You'll never find another chapel exactly like yeah. that one. It's no. unique. It's very unique. 
definitely. There is a park in the woodlands, but um, it has a flip gate, um, so we couldn't get up there to go and see it. We definitely wouldn't have made it walking, would no, we? No. It's very steep. Um, so, if, again, if you're in a wheelchair or a scooter, you're not going to be going up there because there is no other access way up there. Um, but there is a park. So, all in all, scooters did really well. We did get off and walk around as these scooters probably would have been too big to take in. But if you've got the smaller scooters, they would have been alright going inside. Um, and obviously if you're in a wheelchair you would have been fine. There's lots of room for manoeuvre around. So it's quite good. And they are installing, apparently they are looking into um, getting hearing loops fitted so that when you visit you are able to listen to uh, the talks about the art museum as you go around. So it'd be nice to see if that gets put in place too. So we have come to the end of our day visiting the Watts Gallery. We'd like to say a massive thank you to the Watts Gallery for letting us come along today to visit and share what they have here. I would also like to say a big thank you to Hubby for doing the filming and thank you to Shirley for coming out with us today. So thank you. Thank have you. you enjoyed yourself? Oh, it's been brilliant. And have you enjoyed driving the scooter around? Yes, I have, yeah. It's really good. My new toy. <laughs> we would also like to say thank you to you, the viewers, for joining us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as that will really, really help support what we are doing. And give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Bing! And it's free!